world is a lot better place because of trees. They've given us food, raw materials, and even shade from the elements for thousands of years. Without them, humanity would have probably been doomed. So it makes sense why we need to care for them and plant more of them to offset the destruction that we're causing to the environment. But not all trees are created equally. Some are not meant to be messed with. If you get too close, you might just end up hurting yourself, or worse, be dead. Here are 10 of the most dangerous trees that you should never touch. Number 10. Sandbox Tree The sandbox tree looks like something out of a nightmare. If there's one tree that displays up front that it doesn't like company, this is it. The entire tree is covered with these dark, pointed spikes. It almost looks like the tree is down with a serious case of the smallpox. Because of its thorny exterior, the tree is nicknamed as the Monkey No Climb. Makes sense. No primate is climbing this spiky tree, and neither are we. It's native to the tropical regions of North and South America, and also is found in parts of Tanzania, where it's considered as an invasive species. If the spikes don't deter you from getting too close, then the sandbox tree has another death trap in its arsenal. It's fruit. This pumpkin-looking fruit doesn't look like anything extraordinary from the outside, but don't let that fool you. The tree has an additional nickname, the dynamite tree. The ripe fruit of a sandbox tree explodes, literally. In fact, the fruit explodes at such high intensity that it's known to spread the seeds anywhere up to 330 feet in radius. So if you want to take this tree head on, you'll probably have to suit up for the possible grenades that might come your way. Number 9. McAneel Tree Here's another tree that doesn't want anything to do with humans or animals either. The McAneel Tree is an all-rounder, an all-rounder poisonous tree to be specific. Everything about this tree is harmful to you. So if you dare venture close to this one, just remember you should not eat the fruit, touch the tree anywhere, including its leaves, or even stand under one. What makes them so dangerous is the milky white sap that's found all over the tree. The sap is extremely corrosive and has been known to strip away car paint with ease. If you're an unlucky soul who got caught in the rain and sought shelter under a McAneel tree, things are going to get a whole lot worse by the minute. The white sap when mixed with water is a dangerous combination, and if it falls in you can create blistering on the skin and even destroy your eyes if it gets in there. Other symptoms include severe gastroenteritis with bleeding, bacterial infection, and airway complications. So yeah, the McAneel, it's not your friend. Number 8. Coconut Tree Yes, coconut tree. You might be surprised to see this one here. After all, coconut trees are extremely valuable to humans. Different parts of the trees have their own uses. For example, fiber inside the coconut can be used for making ropes, mats, brushes, sacks, and a whole lot more. The fruit itself contains sweet water, which is perfect for summers. The fronds can be used for creating roofs for houses and can even be used as kindling for fire. So a tree with so many uses couldn't possibly be dangerous, right? While it's true that the coconut tree by itself is not dangerous to humans, it's a combination of the coconut and gravity that can cause problems. It's reported that around 150 people die every year from coconuts falling on their heads. Though these incidents are few and far between, they still kill people. The coconut itself can weigh up to 2 kilos, and that, combined with the force of its falling, can land on someone's head at a weight close to a ton. So you wouldn't want to be around one during the season. Number 7. Strychnine Tree The strychnine tree is one which requires no warning since the name itself is a clear indication that this tree is poisonous and not to be taken lightly. It's known as the Strychnos nux vomica, but it's also called the poison nut or the semen strychnos, and they all sound dangerous. Native to India, these trees hold most of the poison in the seeds and contain about 1.5% strychnine. Even though the tree is poisonous, it does have some use for humans. The strychnine compound is often extracted to be used as a poison bait to kill feral animals and pests. But don't be fooled to think that the poison is only found in its seed. The bark of the strychnine tree is also known to contain poisonous compounds that can cause reactions if touched. There have been reports of people dying just by breathing around or near the tree. So it's possible that the tree also expels poisonous materials into the air as well. Avoid this tree at all costs. Number 6. Bunya Pine the Bunya Pine sure looks like a beautiful tree to have around your neighborhood. It has a unique shape and is a massive growth of 20 to 50 meters in height, but don't let its beauty fool you. This is a tree which is a combination of the sandbox and the coconut tree in terms of lethality. If you look closely, the leaves of the Bunya Pine are covered with strong and sharp spikes. They're all over and hard to miss. So if you're too close to one and are a bit careless, you could easily poke yourself with these sharp thorns. Even professionals don't come near them unless properly covered in protective wear. 
The Ponya Pine has another feature which makes them dangerous to be close to. During the season between December and March, the Bunya Pine sprouts several massive cones which can weigh up to 10 kilos. When it's ripe enough, the tree sheds the fruit often from a height of 50 feet or more. So anyone caught under one of these trees is in for a nasty concussion or worse. Due to the unpredictability of the cones, professionals advise not to go anywhere near the Bunya Pines. Number 5. Gimpy Gimpy Don't let the name Gimpy Gimpy fool you. Sure, it sounds kind of cute and definitely nowhere close to giving the impression that it is in fact dangerous. The Gimpy Gimpy packs a nasty surprise. Okay, full disclosure, this one is not a tree but a plant, but deserves a mention here because it's a fascinating species which is also poisonous. It's commonly found in the rainforests of northeast Australia and as a species of stinging plant. When entomologist Marina Hurley discovered them while undertaking a study as part of James Cook University, she wasn't expecting things to go wrong as they did. The whole plant is covered with a layer of stinging hair and can deliver a potent neurotoxin when touched. Hurley, even with her protective gear, got a dose of this neurotoxin. Her symptoms were mild in the beginning, like sneezing, watery eyes and runny nose, but soon became worse. She had to be taken to the hospital where she described the feeling as being burnt with hot acid and also electrocuted at the same time. Fortunately, Hurley made a full recovery and is back in the field, but more cautious. Better stay away from this one. Number 4. Onga Onga Here's another example of a stinging plant like the Gimpy Gimpy. The Onga Onga is endemic to New Zealand and is a large woody shrub. Like other stinging plants, the Onga Onga also has sharp spikes all around. If you're unlucky enough to walk through a patch of these stinging plants, you can expect severe reactions. The spikes contain a toxin called trifidin and can cause rash, itching and inflammation if exposed to the naked skin. These symptoms can get a lot worse if you're exposed to a denser patch of these plants. They can include convulsions, confusion, a loss in motor movement, blurred vision, complete paralysis, and even death. There's only been one recorded fatality for each of these plants. Number 3. Castor Bean Tree Meet the world's most poisonous common plant according to the Guinness World Records, the castor bean tree. It contains a poison called ricin within its seeds. The same poison is also found throughout this plant, but at lower doses. It's said that if a person consumes more than four of these seeds, it's most likely that person won't see the light of day. Ricin overdose is known to cause symptoms like bloody diarrhea, seizures, dehydration, and eventually death. But people who've ingested these seeds can be saved if timely treatment is administered. The irony of castor bean tree is that the seeds are used to make castor oil, which has a wide variety of uses, including cooking. So the same seed that contains the ricin, which can potentially kill people, also contains oil which people cook with. Nature is strange. Number 2. Angel's Trumpet Angel's Trumpet looks like a wonderful plant that you could grow in your garden, and you very much should, but after knowing its dangers. They are a species of flowering plants which are also known as Brugmansia. Their unusual large flowers are a sight for sore eyes, but that's just one side of the story. The entire plant is toxic if ingested. It can induce symptoms like migraine, headaches, confusion, delusions, hallucinations, and in rare cases, death. It's also been noted to cause temporary insanity or induce a powerful trance-like state. Fortunately, this plant cannot be seen in the wild and needs to be cultivated, so it's a blessing since you'll never accidentally come across one in the wilderness. Before moving on to number one on our list, here is something gross. The shipworm tree gets its name from, well, shipworms. These trees serve as an unwilling host for these squirmy and slimy creatures. They're actually not worms, but a type of saltwater clam with long, soft and naked bodies. These underwater trees are drilled into by these shipworms and eventually destroy the trees from the inside out. But shipworms have one good use. They're eaten as a delicacy in the Philippines, Indonesia and Thailand. Would you ever eat something as slimy as these worms? Number 1. Namibian Bottle Tree Here's an odd-looking tree which you probably never come across in your life, unless of course you live in Namibia. Found in the most arid places, the Namibian bottle tree is not only strange in its shape, but also hides a deadly secret. Since water is very rare in these parts, it's come up with an alternative. It produces its own toxic watery mucus. This latex produced by the tree is extremely poisonous, and the locals use it for making poison arrows for hunting animals. It's said that if the latex were to come in contact with human eyes, it could cause permanent blindness. Luckily, you don't have to worry about this tree too much, since it's very unlikely you'll come across one anywhere except the semi-desert areas of Namibia and southern Angola.